In this lesson, we are going to create very simple REST based Spring Boot application within Eclipse. Inside Eclipse, I have already installed the STS or Spring Tool Suite plugin. First, let me create a Spring Boot project. For that, go to File, New, Other, Type Spring, select Spring Starter Project, click Next. This is actually populating everything from the start.spring.io that is the Spring Initializer website. Let me change the name. Type I am changing to Maven. I am changing the group ID. Also the package. Click next. Here I can customize the Spring Boot version. I am taking a little bit lower version 3.3.6 and I am going to add Spring Web. Typing Web over here. Selecting Spring Web. Next. Finish. Before I start with the development, two things I want to check. One is my JDK is set properly or not. I need to go to my project properties for that. And also I want to check my Java compiler. If I select Java build path, libraries, I see Java AC 17 is there. I want to point to my own JDK over here. I have JDK installed in my system. I want to point to that. Let me check the compiler also. This is 70. Apply. Yes apply and close and two additional views i want to add over here which is part of the sts plugin go to show view other type spring we have the spring symbols click open expanding the project let me customize this view a little bit click on filter exclude start dot resources here go to content exclude the java elements over here click ok now if i go through my pom.xml first and expand this. I have the starter web and the starter test, which is fine. Inside source, if I expand Java, I only have this particular class, which is basically the Spring Boot sample application. Now, in order to create a race based API here, I would simply create a race based controller. And inside the controller, I will create two methods one with get mapping, another with post mapping. The first one, would respond to a GET request and the second one would respond to a POST request. That's the plan. I won't be having a service class or repository as it's a very simple application just to show you how the REST API works. Let me just create the controller now. Control N class sample REST controller. Let me add this. Control space. Enter. I want to provide a base path URL for all the endpoints created. Let me add request mapping. This would be slash API and now going to add two methods, one for get, another for post. This is the one greeting. It will say hello world. Let me add one for post. Post mapping is echo. The request body would be taken as the parameter, which is message, and it would be returned as you sent colon plus the request body. Let me do a Maven build. Right click, run as Maven build, adding clean and package. Skip tests. Apply, run. Build successful. Going to run this application. Right click. I can use run as Java application, run as Spring Boot app also. Let me stick with the first one. Maximize the console. The application is already started, I can see. Anyways, let me minimize this. Opening a browser, localhost 8080 slash API slash greeting. So here I'm getting the response. Hello world. As we had this particular method inside Spring REST controller, which would by default send us hello world. But post, I cannot test through browser. For that, I need some REST client. So I'm going to install the postman for this and going to test both of them. Going back to browser, search for postman, postman download. Clicking on the URL, Windows 64 bit. Going to the download location, double click. Installation started. If I have an existing account, I can enter the details. I can create a free account for the time being. I'm going to continue without an account. Click on this open lightweight API client. Maximize this. So here we can enter the URL going back to browser, back to browser, copying this opening postman for get. I can enter this. Click on send. I see the response. Hello world. For post, I'm clicking on this plus icon, changing this get. To post here in the body, I need to set something. Click on raw, put this JSON value, add the URL over here. Instead of greeting, it should be echo. Click send. 
now it is printing you sent this i can change this also clicking on send you have sent hello spring boot so this is how using eclipse sts plugin or spring tool suite you can create a spring boot project from scratch and we can create a very simple race based application using spring boot and we also saw how to test it using postman tool